Okay, this is kind of a big announcement. I haven't had a big announcement for a while. So I'm going to I'm going to use this platform to say this is a big announcement. Uh I mean, being here in Tennessee is awesome. I love Tennessee and uh, I love the people here. And you know what? This really is the Bible Belt. And I think the Lord brought me here for a reason because he knows I like to preach it. He knows that um, I've got a big mouth when it comes to him. And he's, you know, it's it's amazing how I, I've just been so humbled with how he he has been using me as a vessel and the encounters I've been having. And not only that, but the great people I've been meeting, the, he's just bringing us together. And, and I can't explain it. It's like, it's, I have met so many God loving people here in Tennessee. It's cool. And, and like-minded people, like people are really, they see what's going on and they, they these people are prepared. These people are country folk. They they know the message and they get it. They get it. But but the most important thing is they want to keep spreading that message. So anyway, I'm here. I just got done biking and I'm sorry about the highway. I'm by the Natchez Trace Trail. I don't know if I got that right. But anyway, um, I, I wanted to share the big announcement because uh, I'm going to be speaking at a Bible uh, camp retreat. Is that what they call it? I think it's just called a camp retreat. I don't know. Bible camp retreat. Uh, they have them all over the place where all these outposts are. And you definitely see them uh, here in the south. I just got done going going to one uh, in Kentucky. And uh, Echo Valley, I spoke um, last uh, fall at Echo Valley where I now am kind of living. <laughs> kind of. <laughs> and uh, so there's a, these really great people. And uh, I don't know, I don't know how, I, how, I, how would I meet these people? I don't know. I think maybe it was through the channel. Anyway, they have an a, a outpost called uh, Be Well. They are doing some phenomenal things. And I believe they're above Chattanooga in Tennessee. And I was so impressed. They sent me pictures and I'm like, oh, I love these people. They grow their own food. They've got a, um, a, a great ministry up there. Uh, they evangelize. They've got the right idea about, yeah, we need to get prepared. We need to be serious about this. We need to um, spread the word. We need to, we need to, we need to bring the message to them. We're, the people aren't going to come to us. We need to go to them. And I, I love what they preach. I love their philosophy. And uh, they just, um, so anyway, this is their second annual uh, camp meeting. And uh, yeah, that's what it's called, camp meeting. And uh, it's, um, it's, it's called Christians in America. And I love that because this is this is the time. Christians in America, hello, hello. What 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 is going on with with prophecy right now? We are living in prophetic times. When Jesus says, "Beware of false prophets, um, the pestilence, rumors of war," all of this is, is unfolding before our eyes. We see. I mean, it's just crazy that we're living in this time like right now. And so it is about preparation. But it is also about getting getting that gospel out, reaching people. So I am going to be speaking on Thursday, this Thursday and Friday at 7 to 8 and 7 to 8. I believe on Thursday, I don't know what I'm going to, you know, I, I, I was thinking about doing my, my medical bag, my, my you know, I have a like a um, an herbal remedy bag and, and talk about the bug out bag. And I, I don't know, I, I, I'm, gonna, I'm still praying about it, but I, I can talk about anything. But uh, a Thursday is going to be one of those days where I'm just going to offer them what they need to hear, basically, what what the audience needs to be fed, because I, I'm I'm thinking the audience is pretty well versed with country living. You know, this is the this is the the downfall right now at camp meetings. This is just me. It's really light in the biblical stuff. It's really light in evangelism. It's really light in telling people we need to go out and witness. And that uh, uh, this religious idleness in this comfort zone that so many churches are in, we need to wake people up. And what are you doing to get the word out? You know, um, I just heard a great testimony about a lady who she's like, I can't go and be a mission missionary in another country. You know, I, I'm married and I go from town to town because my husband's in the army. And she says, but I have, I have a ministry now. And this is how she figured it out. This is what she saw. Jesus went from meal to meal. <laughs> he went from this person's house and he had a meal. And then he ate over here and he ate over here. And so her ministry now is serving food 
to people. They, she, she brings them into her house, and that's her ministry. That's a ministry right there. You can, you, just around the gathering table, the, the, the supper table, the dinner table, the breakfast table, do you know how much witnessing you can do? So don't tell me you can't be a witness. You can be a witness in your own home. You don't have to go to a foreign country and you don't have to be like me, like going from state to state. You don't, you don't have to do all those things. Um, but we are all called. So I know that on Friday, I'm gonna be talking about that big time. And I think that's the message that needs to be heard because I really think that we're going light in these camp meetings. I really do. And we need to start listening to people witness. I want to hear what, I want to hear that person's witness. I want to hear their testimony. I want to hear, that's what I should say. I, I, I want to hear the testimony because it, they conquered them by the, um, by, by the blood of the lamb and by the power of their testimony. It's our testimony. It's not sermonizing. We don't need more preachers and we don't need more sermons. We need more testimony. And so that's what we're really light on right now. And, and, and Satan loves it. Satan loves that we're really light on our testimony. But we all have a testimony. You don't tell me that you don't have a testimony. So that's what I'm talking about. So um, I'm going to put up the, the, the flyer, the banner, and it's going to be on my thumbnail. Come join us. Come. And there's other speakers too. They're not just me. There's some really good speakers. So it's going to be kind of a, 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 a couple day affair. So come up, join us in Tennessee. I don't know what town it is in, but all the information will be in the description box. All right. God bless. And watch out because I'm going to be on fire. I'm, I'm not going to hold back. Mm -mm.